Hi, I'm Ahuva Schweiki and I would like to show you how I paint this painting with a painting knife. These are the knife I use. There are two knives. They look like three, but actually these two are the same one, but the manufacturer started to make the newer one with a shortened handle. I can do a whole painting with one knife or the other, and sometimes I use both of them. So it's those knives that you see me painting the most with. I have permanent rose. It's straight from the tube. I have a mix of permanent rose and white. There is a darker value and a lighter. This is my dark for the shadows and those colors are for my medium and my light. I have the colors, the sap green, it will be my background for my leaves. Sap green, yellow and white, going to be colors I'll paint the leaves with. Mix of viridian and white, it's a beautiful color that looks very pretty with pink roses and we do see these colors in leaves many times. These are lighter colors of the leaves. They are a mix of sap green, yellow and white. We have light and even lighter. The, what you see here on every one of my palette, it's liquid that I use in the paint in case I want to paint to dry. Now I would like to share with you a structure of a rose, the way I view a rose. I have a vine charcoal in my hand and I'm going to draw myself a rose right here. Here's the cup, here's this, the opening of the cup, then I see that it has two handles and a saucer. And when I stroke, all my strokes are always directed toward this place where the stem and all the petals are attached. I'm going to put a little bit of bud in here. That will be only the part of the cup. We'll do a little close bud there, close bud there, close bud there, and we'll do some leaves in here too. I start by putting my shadow colors on the rose. I spread them the way we spread peanut butter and jelly on a slice of bread or butter on a toast and I put them very thin. When I paint, I paint this area slightly larger than what I want my rose to look like. Right in here is going to be another bud and there will be another bud right in there and another one right in there. Now this is where our stem are going to be and this is where all the petals are coming to come to. Now I will start with the structure to paint the rose itself. This is the rose but the petals of the rose. We start by putting the ones that are open toward the outside. All we see is the top part of the petals and it's a very very thin now I'm going to start to paint the petal themselves. I load the paint, lay the knife, and drag it. And I stop right here, because this is where the stem is going to be, and I need to, this room for the petals of the rose that opened up. I wipe my knife constantly, because every time that I paint, I pick up some of the colors that are already on the canvas. Right there. I'm going to add a little bit of color so I will not run out of the shadow color that's very important for me. The petals that are on the right side of my canvas, dragging the knife toward the side of the petal. Put the knife there, dragging like same thing. We're not going to disturb the beautiful cup that we created. We're just going to go right next to it. Put the paint that. I'm going to put a little bit more color in there so I can open that roll. Going right there. A beautiful one going this way. This way. One more time here. Make it stop it. Now I'm going to come and paint this little bud that we have in here. A little bit of paint, stroke it right there. And here I can take my knife and pull this 
make it go around, around a little bit, like some of these buds that are here, and they will be a stroke bud. This stroke right there. As soon as we add the glue into it, they will look but it just started to open. Now I turned it this. Sometimes I do that because it's easier for me to get my hand. He has three buds all clustered together. Blend it with the dark extras that I did and the knife is so fine that I can go all the way to the paint that's there without disturbing the leaf if I don't want to. Sometimes I do want to reshape it. But if I don't want to shape it, it allows me to go all the way to the petal, blend it with the, what was the background of the rose, the shadow, here and here, and then right in here. I can shorten this bud with my background color to the roses, to the buds. And then good. Now, about to finish the bottom part of the canvas. We want to dirty this area with the colors that are in the canvas. So I put some set green, so pink rose. Right, now I start again from the area where the rose is, so I can blend the colors nicely. And when I meet the green, I want to have a nice blending. The way I do the blending, I take the back of the knife and just go back and forth like that between the two colors, and I have a beautiful blended area. Introduce a little bit green right here to this bud. Lighter green. To those spots in here. First, what I will do, I will take my medium side of the green and stroke with my knife shape of leaves that are happening right there, that we don't see them in a close focus. They're all over the place. Now I'll do some close-up. Now I'm leaving some of the dark green as a vein that makes it very effective. The one right here, going this way. Introduce another stem coming up in here. And we'll do some Now the other color that I suggested to you that we have a little viridian. It's just a pretty color to have with pink roses. So I'm going to go ahead and introduce some of these colors right in here randomly. Thank you for watching. If you like this painting, please contact me to my email ahuvashwaiki at gmail.com and my website www.ahuvaartist.com